This is an image taken from a video of Gareth and Stacey Train uploaded after they'd shot dead two police. ABC News has chosen not to air the video. It's not known when it was filmed. It exposes their extreme paranoia about authorities and refers to police as devils and demons. Other videos posted to the accounts also raise questions about whether the trains had previous contact with police. Police are aware of the videos and it's forming part of their investigation. Four officers had gone to the remote property to investigate a missing person report about Gareth's brother Nathaniel Train. Two of them were killed, along with neighbour Alan Dare. This should never have happened. This was a dreadful atrocity. We're all devastated. Everyone I know is devastated. Support is flowing for the country community, grappling with an unimaginable atrocity. We are learning how to deal with fires and floods. How to deal with something like this is something that is way beyond anybody's understanding. Nursing home manager Lance Payne spent the day setting up for a vigil. It's so hard to believe what happened here um, on Monday. So to have this event, that'll start to open up that communication and hopefully people will start to express their feelings and emotions a bit better now. A hamper has been prepared for Alan Dare's bereft family. When something like this happens, that's such a tragedy, we come together as one big family. The young officers killed in this shocking crime, Constables Rachel McCrow and Matthew Arnold, will be farewelled at a funeral service with full police honours in Brisbane on Wednesday. Hundreds of their colleagues will form a guard of honour, paying tribute to their service. And Toby Jose Lewis joins us now from Chinchilla, where a vigil and fundraiser are un underway this evening in memory of the three victims. Toby, how is the community there faring? Yeah, Jeremy, I just spoke to a couple of people who are attending this vigil and they told me that it's all still very emotional. They said this week the world's seen some real darkness out of Chinchilla, but tonight it's going to see some beauty as well. And that beauty is, of course, this small country town coming together to summon some light to break through the darkness of this awful week. And, of course, that's not just a local effort. Um, there's contributions coming from all around the country. The Prime Minister sent in a letter that will be read on his behalf. Support groups have come in from Brisbane to let people know just what's ava available to them, rather, as time sort of ticks on after this tragedy. Church ministers have come from neighbouring towns and, of course, senior police officers have made the trek in just for this event. Now, Jeremy, I want to sort of put into perspective just what we're expecting to see tonight here. Now, this is a town of less than 7,000 people, but we've had to cordon off the road to make way for the crowd. And every single person that turns up here tonight will pause for a moment of silence to honour and to pay respects to the three victims of Monday night's tragedy and all the donations and the food sales and the raffles. The proceeds of those will go to their families as well. Now, this is some really powerful stuff here, Jeremy, and I think it's a really, really moving reminder, especially after a week of just awful news and an onslaught of horrible revelations about this entire situation, that there is still so much good left in this world. Toby Jones Lewis reporting from Chinchilla. Thank you.